Sergio Ganoagre, Cody Dabo Ujets, coming to you from the first Chiefs Uncut uh, for the 2021-2024 term. Uh, so up to date, uh, I can update you on the files that I'm going to be holding uh, for this term. Uh, so I'm the lead on the lands and territories portfolio. I am still maintaining a presence on the uh, Kanawaki file until that uh, is going to be resolved in the next few weeks. Uh, there's some information coming out about that as well. Uh, I'm also staying on the asbestos files, that's the asbestos working group and the asbestos civil investigation, which I'm hoping are going to be wrapping up soon. Well, more than hoping, I mean, the investigation is going to be wrapping up soon, as well as the uh, asbestos working group, the global, the global strategic plan will be presented uh, hopefully sometime uh, in November, uh, and that plan will be finalized uh, going forward uh, to commence next spring, that's my plan. Uh, as well, I'm also uh, on the economic development portfolio and external government portfolios. Um, and I am also going to be uh, trying to push the tobacco file. Uh, that's been something that's been sort of stagnant for quite a few years. Uh, previous counsel, uh, Frank McCumber, had taken it back up uh, and I had joined him on the file. So I'm going to continue doing that. Uh, these are all you know, things that are important going forward as well um, with aquaponics. Uh, so that's something that hasn't stalled. Uh, I know it's been a little bit quiet uh, on that front, uh, but right now we're enlisting the help with Dewa to really figure out uh, where it's gonna fit that project. Uh, there is still a lot of support for the project even throughout the community. Uh, we're at the point now where we know the project, the proposed project could be around $7 million to build. Um, it's gonna create uh, about 15 jobs uh, various different jobs just pertaining into the building. That's not, you know, any kind of spin-offs that could be, uh, could happen from it. So right now we're at the plans and specs phase, but in order to go into this phase, we really need to uh, sit down and analyze it completely. Because uh, once we get into the plans and specs, you know, there, there's kind of no going back at that point. So for me, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, is this uh, the size and all that, is that appropriate? Do we need to scale it down uh, in this point? Uh, so these are things that are going to be happening uh, over the next few months. Uh, and then hopefully on the next Chiefs Uncut, I'll be able to give you an update about that. Uh, but really, a, a lot of it was just to come out here and explain to the community, not explain, uh, tell to the community where I'm going to be, uh, what are the files that I'm going to be on. Uh, and as always, you know, there's uh, many other things that could come up during the year. Um, there are other projects, you know, that I'm hoping to try to push uh, more sustainable projects. I've always wanted to try to do more uh, green energy production. Uh, I know there's the Decoteur wind farm, uh, but I'm looking for something that's maybe more locally and how we can start pushing that narrative as well as other green technology um, to try to incorporate uh, this term, uh, especially you know with the, the weather, the, the climate change that's been happening. Uh, we see it all around the world. So how we can do our part uh, pushing that. Um, that's all I have at this point, uh, but it's never, that's never enough. Uh, you know, there's always something to do. There's always something to talk about. Uh, but, you know, until next time, uh, hopefully I'll have some more updates uh, on where progress is. And that's where I'm hoping we'll be able to have more updates on the asbestos files, on the Kenawaki file and the aquaponics files. So until next time, Onagi, stay safe and be careful out there.